The Michigan Senate approved a bill last night that has a lot of people talking today. It would allow hospitals, police, and fire departments to install what is called a baby box. It is literally that, a safe container where a parent can surrender their newborn child. Coco McAvoy joins us with more on this box that automatically triggers an emergency response, Coco. That's right, and this legislation expands on a current law that allows parents to surrender their newborn babies to law enforcement officials. But with the baby box, it really allows parents to be more anonymous, and some lawmakers believe that it could save lives. This is what's called a baby box. It's a secure spot where parents can place their newborn babies if they aren't able to care for them after birth. And it has people talking. I mean, a box sounds inhumane. There is some merit to the idea because you hear these awful stories about babies found in trash cans. The baby boxes might start popping up in Michigan soon. The Senate approved legislation that would allow hospitals, police departments and fire stations to install the boxes. We actually have two locations that have already reached out to us. Monica Kelsey is a firefighter and the founder of Safe Haven Baby Boxes. It really is encouraging to see Michigan um, make this this uh, step to save abandoned babies and give women of your communities a final last resort. Her company has boxes in Ohio and Indiana. She says the boxes are heated, cooled, and safe for infants. When the box is opened, 911 is called immediately. Once the baby's placed in the box, the door locks. So when mom shuts that door, she can't reopen the box. The baby is inside until medical and fire arrive. The legislation is still in the early stages, but lawmakers believe it could be a step in the right direction. And we did get a statement from St. Joseph Mercy Health System. It reads, quote, in part, if enacted into law, we would want to carefully analyze the safety issues around implementing a baby box before making any decision to do so at any of our hospital facilities. We'll, of course, keep track of this legislation. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4. Sure will. Interesting debate. All right, Coco.